Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and uh, continue the progression with the Righteous Fire SSF Inquisitor. Uh, so we are 96, closing in on level 97. Uh, haven't really been leveling too fast of recently since we started doing our Maven fights. Uh, spoiler, not very good at Maven. I have definitely died quite a few times. But with that being said, uh, we've down five total Mavens. The fight's gotten much easier as I've done it more. I wanted to highlight some upgrades and some things we found uh, in the past day. It's been about 10 hours since the last video in terms of like total playtime. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you. So uh, step one, I believe I showed you guys this amulet. I don't remember if I showed you what I ended up with crafting it. Uh, this is currently what I have for the amulet. I really don't like it. Uh, I'm going to try recrafting it, but I have to get something usable in the meantime. Um, essentially, it hit all the mods that you see here, and then I exalted a prefix, which I don't really know why. I forgot exactly what the reason was. Hit the fire damage to attack, so it's pretty shit. I'm going to have to recraft it. Um, anyway, though, moving on to the rest of the gear, um, you'll notice that I have a new helmet, actually. So previously I was using this helmet, which I have also recrafted. That's kind of weird. Okay. Hey, did you guys know that Ellie Overload is actually on my Wikipedia if you do search for it, but don't tell him. All right. So um, anyway, um, going back to this, um, I have been recrafting between these two helmets with my Essence of Horror stack. So essentially the reason I switched helmets now is this helmet rolled essentially exactly the same as the other helmet. But if you notice... On the suffixes, there is a 16% life regeneration rate, which in my opinion makes this helmet much, much, much more desirable. Um, so that puts me right now at like 1600 regen without anything. Also, on my Legacy of Fury, don't mind the Sky Force that we also dropped. Uh, on my Legacy of Fury, I have 2% regen uh, that I got from Lab. Then I got a backup pair with another 2% regen, so I have double corrupt boots. Whenever, well, I can double corrupt my boots whenever I want to, so that's pretty nice. Um, something else, if you look at this helmet here, um, so since we were recrafting, I was explaining, this helmet hit level 20 burn, and what I'm going to probably try to do is, uh, this is going to be expensive and probably not worth it on Trade League, but I am most likely going to do suffixes cannot be changed for 2 exalt, and then do harvest, reforge life more likely to try to get a either a really high flat life regen or a percentage increase life regen. If that works, then I will start working on the prefixes with suffixes cannot be changed, veiled chaos, and kind of rinse and repeat. Um, and that way I can try to get unveiled plus two gems, plus two AoE, and then craft life, and then use that over this helmet. But first we have to see if that suffix hits. Um, next up, some other things. Maven dropped us an awakened Ellie Focus. On our fifth fourth kill fourth kill so that's pretty sick one of our first awakened gem that's usable i evolved a 21 fire trap so that was big hype that was like 100k tooltip damage and we dropped an empower that i have been leveling uh, i don't know if you guys saw earlier i don't know if i showed you but one of our katarina kills we got a cane of cool mac and it's got currently 91 percent fire multi with 11 percent the quality of socketed support gems with the damage per endurance charge. So I just six socketed it and I put my empower in here and it is currently at 155% XP bonus. So that's pretty sick. And then the last upgrade to highlight is I dropped another um, item level 83 large cluster for fire. So this is probably the next jewel I'm gonna work on uh, for harvest crafting. Uh, just because I would like to be able to do a double cluster setup at some point, it gives so much more damage, but it does require me to min-max my res more. I do believe it's going to require melding, so it's going to be for much later, but there's nothing stopping me from crafting this right now to replace this one. Uh, another thing is I did get a flow of life brewed for potency here. Um, this is on a damage over time jewel, so I ended up, I forgot what I had before, it was a little bit of damage, but I would like to run full flow of life student of decay on all of my mediums or flow of life burning bright but it all i can't roll burning bright on a dot jewel so i would need a burning jewel for that yep that's pretty much about it though let me go ahead and show you what i have been doing so as of right now with our atlas we are currently focused on still getting conqueror maps elder guardians uh, i have specced into ritual actually 
Um, the reasoning for specking into Ritual is for Fractured Bases. Um, that's also a big reason why I have Expedition. Fractured Bases are fantastic for, um, uh, for Harvest Crafting or Crafting in general. Also fantastic with um, Recombinators. So, with that being said, uh, I'm basically going in my maps, clearing my maps, killing the boss, and going into the next map. However, whenever I get a Glacier map, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of Glacier runners. Uh, I personally haven't really watched any content on Glacier, like Glacier setups, so quite sure my setup is scuffed compared to other Glacier users. But I'll just show you what I do, it's just a little bit of fun. So essentially, we like to uh, group up a ton of mobs here. Sometimes I'll kill mobs for the influence, doesn't seem like it's necessary. So there's one big pack there, and then over here is a box, there's another pack right there, and then since we're Delirium, we're gonna just go kill it all right now. Don't think I'm gonna get to kill the Delirium boss, but that's okay. It might work fast. Oops. Oh yeah, okay. Small shards, nice. Very good loot. Now again, I don't do this on every map. This is too... It's fun to do, but it's not something I want to do like literally every single map. So it's just a nice change of pace from like me normally just rushing through the map, getting to the boss, clearing the boss, and then putting in the next map, right? It's a nice loot explosion. Are done here, right? The drop on the loot. No? Oh, there it goes. I have heard some people tell me that uh, I should consider using Apex Sentinel as well for this part right here. Uh, I may have to look into that because I don't really like using Stalker Sentinel anymore. It's not too bad. It just it just slows me down a lot. I don't know. It's annoying. I'd rather use the Pandemonium Sentinel because Pandemonium Sentinel I like. I'm just basically going to Infernal Cry and blow up the whole pack anyway. And then let's go see what we got over here. to corrupt this actually could do that real fast one tip on uh, remnants of corruption by the way if you're an ssf and you can't sustain remnants of corruption make sure you take these two nodes and then once you have a huge stockpile like 30 like i have now switch these two over to this two because these two actually make it less likely for you to be able to get a uh, like an essence of horror because say this spawned with an essence of uh, corruption in it like a remnant you cannot corrupt it again to try to get the horror and i believe your odds are a bit better when you're manually doing it like this because i don't really know why it's just pretty much what i've been told from people so i'm gonna take their word for it Recombinators, Chaos Orbs, how much good loot. Catalysts, oh, more Chaos, gosh. Honestly, something like this is something I'd probably be interested in on a League Start scenario. Um, 
Not that I think any of the... Well, I guess... I don't know. I think to an extent, Recombinators slash uh, Sentinels will go core, but I don't know. I'm not sure on their drop rate. Like, I still don't think Recombinators are actually going to go core, but I think... I think Sentinel will go core because they want to utilize Sentinel to replace things like Torment, maybe? Um, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's cool. I don't know. I, I like it. It's it's a cool mechanic where you're basically in, you're slowing down your map clear by empowering mobs. And I think that's a better approach than littering the game with on death effects. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it, though. Um, just to kind of update you guys with what I'm doing still. Uh, I still have this harvest tab over here that is pretty out of date. Um, not really crafting on any of these right now, but... The only thing I'm really crafting on is I'm still trying to recraft a better chest. I'm I'm kind of just giving up on it at this point. I've spent so much time trying to get a... Essentially, if you look at the suffixes here, ignore the fact that it's evasion-based. It's just what I have. I was trying to get life regen, physical damage reduction, a resistance. Get them all at least T2 with a tier 1 life roll. And then craft uh, life, life as ES. Kind of like on this. What I think I'm going to do is just run alva get a temple based chest merge it together with a gravitious based chest so then i have like the t1 life roll with the percent life with a life as es then craft uh like percent max life and then just re-roll my suffixes with like uh with where are they i mean they're way more rare but stuff like this right because i i just don't see myself getting the desired mods i want with reforge more likely it's just not working i've sunk 35 reforge more likelies into a chest piece and nothing about it has been more likely so i want to turn over to a new project uh, i'm just not sure what to do exactly um, so i have to figure out exactly what i'm doing with that there is an option as well on getting a shaper shield and using a shaper shield with life gain on block until i get an agus but still trying to figure it out Anyway, that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the progression of the character. Still not bored, still not burnt out. We are still progressing. So I am very happy with that. Um, I still really want to hit my 21 gems. I really want to level this Awakened Elite Focus. I really want to level that Empower. I want to recraft some gear. I want to continue the crafting on the helmet we have. Uh, a lot of really fun stuff. I want to potentially switch over my um, Sentinels over to Armor Reward in hopes that I can get a lot more Fractured gear, but I don't know how realistic that is. There's just a lot of stuff I want to do, so I'm very, very happy. I mean, when I look at my gear right now, I can basically say, like, this ring could be better if it had a Fractured Affix on it. This could be better if it had a... Basically, anything that's not crazy strong right now or influenced, I could technically Brute Force get a Fractured base and make a better ring or make anything better and i think that is really what makes the recombinator so cool is you don't even have to do the super end game recombinating you can just do like mid-tier stuff right like example i dropped a i dropped a strength amulet for amber amulet with fractured 40 decks i recombinated and got the fractured mod onto a marble base and that's my amulet now right normally I, that wouldn't really be very good but I really, really like that about Recombinators. It's really, really cool. It adds entry-level crafting, mid-tier crafting, and very expensive crafting. Uh, and I think that's a win-win. It's just a shame that the drop rate is so common and you know it's going to get nuked in the next patch. Anyway, though, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget, if you guys want to follow along with the series... Uh, you can always click the link that should be provided down below. Also, sorry, I didn't realize I was on display capture that whole map. It was probably like two fucking frames per second. That was my apology. Um, this video will go linked right here. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow.